let's have a look at factorizing the difference of two squares. So a little reminder first of all about expanding, because expanding and factorizing the opposite. So when I'm expanding this, I'm going to go x times x will give me x to the power of 2. x times minus 3 will give me minus 3x. Positive 3 times x will give me plus 3x. And plus 3 times minus 3 gives me minus 9. Then I need to simplify. x squared stays alone. Minus 3x plus 3x, that term cancels, and I'm left with x squared take away 9. So what I want you to notice here is that x squared is a square. 9 is also a square, because 9 is the same as 3 squared, my 3 times my 3. Okay, same with my x times my x gives me my x squared. So this is the patterns we want to recognise. We also need to recognise the fact that we've got a minus sign in there, and that's because positive times negative is a negative. So we're going to use those ideas to recognise, when I have an um, expression like this, that we need to recognise that these are the difference of two squares. And how I do that, b squared is a squared number, 4 is a squared number. So that's the same as b squared minus 2 squared. Yeah? So now I need to think, right, what, if I'm, I know I've got a squared going on there, so I know that I want two sets of brackets. I need a b in each to get a b squared. I need to have a 2 in each to get a 2 squared. And to get that minus sign, 1 is a plus, 1 is a minus, and the middle terms would cancel out. And that's exactly what would happen. We do the same thing with the next one. Now I've got a 4a squared, and just think, well, what is 4a squared? Well, that is 2a all squared. Minus 25 is 5 squared. So now I want to have my two sets of brackets. I need a 2a times a 2a to get the 2a squared. I need a 5 times a 5 to get the 25. And I need 1 plus and 1 minus, so it is the difference of two squares, because the middle term has dropped out.